Hey everyone, I am Megafrick400, and I am not wearing my Wiimote wrist strap. Oh no. Yes, welcome to Let's Play WarioWare Smooth Moves, or technically, in, in my case, Let's Replay. Uh, WarioWare Smooth Moves was my actually third Let's Play, but that Let's Play kind of sucked. It was done in bad quality with kind of crappy uh, commentary, so hopefully this one will be, you know, this replay will be better with better uh, quality, and uh, hopefully better qual- uh, better qual- yeah, the better quality, but um, better commentary as well. Um, I'm not off to a great start. Um, so former Tom Basics, pretty much standard. Um, I, I'm not using the wrist strap because I I never have trouble with keeping the Wiimote in my hands. But um, I know some people I, some people did. They got a little bit more overzealous back in the day. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna be doing two stages per video because um, you know my previous one I had like one stage per video, but that will be way too short. So they'll kind of lengthen the videos a little bit. Um, to like 10 minutes or 11 minutes as opposed to like 5. I'll be doing uh, two stages per video and oh no, not his sweets. You know, as far as plots go, this is kind of lame. But to be fair, the Wario games are never really about plot. They're about insane wackiness and just craziness all around. But yeah, this this actual Let's Play is going to be pretty short in general because the game's not really long and it's just going to kind of be a mini, uh, just a small bite-sized Let's Play compared to some of my other projects. Anyway, this part's really awesome. The remote control. Hold the form baton straight, with the tip pointing forward. This simple stance reflects one of life's fiercest and greatest sports, channel surfing. I love that voice. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, if you've never played a WarioWare game before, it's pretty much just quickly doing the uh, actions they say. Like, if they say saute, you quickly saute. Uh, here, you quickly, you know, move the Wiimote back and forth and focus. And this game is going to introduce different forms. Right now, we're using the, you know, remote control form and... Oh, crap. Okay, there we go. I thought I was going to screw that up. But, um, right now, we're using the remote control form, and it's pretty much just pointing the Wiimote like you normally do for most games. Um, this is obviously the simplest form, and it's actually one of the most used, because even other stages later on will use it. And that actually is Waluigi, technically, right there. The blue sprite, or not really sprite, but the blue uh, character. Okay, what's next? Okay, that, that one's pretty simple. Also, like most of the Wario stages in different WarioWare games, uh, all of the micro games will feature his nose and mustache on some form of the... Okay, crap. I almost screwed that one up, too. Uh, some form of the character. Okay, come on. Oh, come, why isn't... There we go. The Wiimote kind of stopped working for a second. Um, but yeah, his nose and mustache will be, like, in almost all the micro games, in some form. And this one is really just simple, just wave the Wiimote up and down. I do apologize to people who want to see me doing these actions, I will not be, uh, showing me do them. But I, I, I assure you, they are hilarious. Technically, I, some of them I cheat at a little bit, but, because I'm sitting down when I do this, but, um, most of them I actually do affect uh, uh, what they actually tell me to do. I don't just, you know, cheat on all of them. Anyway, yeah, Wario happened to accidentally go into that temple and happened to accidentally find this magical Wiimote, which is, um, known as a form baton in this game. And now all the other characters will make micro games based off of them. Like Mona, who in this game is a cheerleader, because why not? And the past game, she's actually, I think, um, one of them she makes, or she's a pizza... 
obviously Mona's Pizza, and then another one she like serves gelato. She works at a gelato store or restaurant. And then like the first one, she's just weird. So yeah, here you can always you know wear your wrist strap, play in an open area, and let go of your inhibitions. I guess I've done the third one. The other two technically I'm going against, so I am breaking the law of Warrior Wear. Well, yeah, Warrior Wear isn't shouldn't really have any laws. Warrior Wear is all about just being wacky and fun. And this game is fun. Um, obviously the DS game and the uh, you know. Handheld games are really fun, and they they work for being handhelds because they're quick. These are quick games, just fun to just do. The Wii isn't necessarily like having it for a console isn't necessarily like doesn't make sense, but um, because the games more work on a handheld. But this but this entry in the series I think is pretty effective. I do enjoy this game, and it is fun probably to play with uh, multiple people. Though I typically don't. I typically play this one with by myself. Mario Party's better for multiple people. Anyway, yeah, she's late. But really, even though this is Mona's stage, technically we're actually not going to focus on... Well, we're going to kind of focus on Mona, but we're actually going to be focusing on someone else related to Mona. Specifically... That poor sap. He is a football player. Kind of a scrawny looking football player. And he loves Mona. Loves her like a... I was gonna say brother, but that no, you. Um, no, he just he loves Mona, so basically he wants to do good at the game so that he can impress her. So now it's time to uh, do some forms. And that one's pretty simple. And new form. The umbrella. Hold the form baton vertically. Thumb resting lightly on the button. Through this dance, you channel the quiet dignity of a circus clown in the midst of a thunderstorm. I'm just trying to do like my this entire or some LP just using that kind of voice the entire time. I don't know if I could pull it off. Probably I couldn't. If someone else did though, well, I would eventually get bored. But it's cool for one-off gags, like just explaining the different forms. So yeah, the umbrella is basically just holding it up straight. I think we're getting a new form here, too. The handlebar. Turn the form baton sideways and grasp the ends firmly in both hands. Like riding a bicycle, perfecting this dance requires grace, steadiness, and tight shorts. And obviously this form is pretty simple, too. Actually, I think it's one of the easier forms to use. Some of them can be kind of tricky. Um, or at least the micro games that they have can cause a little bit of trickiness. Okay, umbrella. Okay, that was simple. Obviously, um, the, these micro games also have different forms. Uh, there's like three levels of difficulty. Typically, these are the easiest to add at the beginning. Okay. Okay, good job. So yeah, the um, there's like so this is like the level one difficulty, but there's two other forms. And uh, after you beat the initial uh, stages of this, you can um, uh, go back and play it for like infinite turns. And as you go further and further the game and beat more boss stages, the more you will. Oh crap! I always screwed that one up and I accidentally close it on them. But as you uh, go further in the game, you'll. Uh... Oh, come on. You'll be able to. Uh... What am I saying? I'm basically, I'm saying that uh, after you beat a boss, like when you get the infinite. Um... Oh, good, good. oh, wow. I actually did that. You know what? You know what I was saying? I'm gonna focus on the game so I don't screw up. <laughs> Shake it off. Yes. Thank you, Gorilla. I love you. The handlebar. Again. Okay, this one isn't too bad. And boss stage. Some of these boss stages are actually really easy. Some of them are a little bit more tricky. This one isn't too bad, actually. You have to guide them to the bathroom. You would think they would know, but whatever. They're stupid, stupid me's. How dare you not know how to go which bathroom you need to go to? You're wearing the same color as the bathroom. You should be able to figure it out for yourselves. Whatever. I am here to save you. Actually, technically it's Brock because the me I chose was my Brock me, and um, your me. Typically, whenever you're controlling a me like that, that's the um. Me, the one that you chose for your file will be the me you use, so you'll be seeing Brock a lot. 
Brock from Pokemon, that is. And these guys were the radio announcers in some of the previous WarioWare games. Oh no, it's the Pizza Dinos, I think, technically. But they are now a football team, because why not? And love. Love will help him conquer the game. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> Unfortunately, it will not help him conquer his fear of being socially awkward. Or not really fear, his ability to be socially awkward. And also not open his eyes to see that Mormon had left, but whatever. So that was the first two stages of this game, and this is the first episode of Let's Play WarioWare Smooth Moves. I hope you guys will enjoy this uh, Let's Replay as much as I do, and next time we'll be doing Cat and Ann, or Anna's, Aunt Katana's games. And also a young cricket, a new face. So, uh, see you guys then.